guys, Metalhead here, and today I'm going to be looking at the gold-silver or silver-gold ratio and exactly how much silver it takes to buy the same monetary amount in gold. We all know that gold costs a lot more than silver, but how exactly does that look in real terms? So I've got a few bits here and I've got a few bits of silver off to the side, but the reference point I'm going to be looking at is one ounce of gold, not the coin itself, but one ounce or one troy ounce, I should say, of intrinsic 24 carat gold. And to do this, I'm going to draw um, some t a table. Um, before I get into the table, just a quick reminder, if you do like this sort of content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm posting content on uh, precious metals, gold, silver, platinum on a regular basis. And if you like the video, hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know if you enjoyed it, if you'd like to see more videos like this or any other types of videos. Now, straight onto the table, uh, I will start with taking a reference point on the gold and silver prices in the market right now. So today is the 14th of August. It's Sunday, the 14th of August. Um, one ounce of gold or one troy ounce of gold on the market is currently coming in at £1,470. Exactly, actually. It's a, it's in a, in a round number there at £1,470. And one ounce of silver is coming in currently at £17.17. And 17 pence. And I think it would be useful to put down uh, how much a kilo of silver is because we're probably going to need some slightly larger denominations to make up um, the amount of silver we'll need to, uh, to purchase uh, gold. So for silver, a kilo of silver is 552 pounds currently. Um, so, you know, what we're saying here is that intrinsically, this one ounce Britannia, if we forget the premium involved, uh, but that's the, that's the amount you pay for it to actually be here in coin form for all the work that goes into the coin. If we forget the premium, intrinsically, what we're saying is this coin is worth £1,470. So I'll just make a quick note of that next to the coin. So that's what we're looking to make up with silver. How much silver do we need and what will that look like? to equate to £1,470. Uh, now, straight away, we have this 500 gram bar, but I'll just put that to the side one moment. Uh, and I think I'll start with some of the big hitters because a kilo of silver is currently £552. So I have here one kilo of silver, that's a Baird & Co uh, kilo silver bar. And I also have this one kilo uh, bar from, um, from from Emirates Gold, which I bought whilst I was in Dubai um, a few years ago. Uh, so there's another kilo right there. So that's two kilos of silver straight away and £552. I'm going to ignore VAT. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bit, bit of a blunt instrument to, to compare, but I think it gives a fair indication of how much silver we need to buy the same amount in gold. I'll ignore VAT. Um, so what we've got here is 552 pounds times two, which equals 1,104 pounds. Of course, I also have this uh, 500 gram bar from Baird & Co. That's a half kilo, it's 500 grams, so it's gonna be a quarter uh, of what we see above. So I'll just pop that down. Actually, I'll put that on its side because it's gonna be I, I fear there's going to be quite a lot of silver on the, on the tray by the time we're finished. So that's a 500 gram bar of silver, and that comes in at £276. Now I'm just going to get my calculator just so we can keep a running total of where we're at. Just bear with me, I'm just opening that up now. Um, oh, the battery's low. Um, so we've got... 1,104, add 276, so 1,380, so a bit short. Uh, so I have here this five ounce Scottsdale silver bar, which subscribers will know I've reviewed before on my channel. Um, 
you can you can see in fact all of these pieces actually at some point or other i've reviewed on the channel so feel free if you're interested to check uh the videos out where i talk about them but this is a five ounce scottsdale silver piece lovely piece of silver there i'll just put that down and that's coming in well that'll be five times 17.17 17. so five times 17 pounds 17 pence that gives us 85 pounds excuse my writing and 85 pence yeah so if i add all the silver up that's we've got 85 pounds 85 i'll just put that back in and we're adding the 276 pounds on the 500 gram bar and then i'm also adding 1104 pounds that gives us 1465 pounds put this under here 1465 pounds and 85 pence so not exactly the same this is a couple of pounds off maybe maybe a couple of grams of silver or something like that if i had a few little bits of fractional silver i could chuck that in but near enough um the same price so yeah i mean if you look on the left there that's a huge amount of silver compared to this one little ounce coin of gold and i know that a lot of stackers uh, find that sometimes troublesome in terms of storage you know one of the advantages of gold of course is you can have just a small amount of gold which has actually a huge value so um i'm not a prepper or anything like that but if you were you know a prepper and looking for a quick escape when the world falls into armageddon a few ounces of gold can slip into your pocket compared to you know kilos and kilos of silver which uh, which wouldn't be ideal um to say the least and interestingly on this um silver to gold ratio in fact i'll just calculate that and see where we're at so um to do this i'll take the price of one ounce of gold divided by 17 pounds and 17 pence the one ounce price of silver so we're currently at 85 point six in terms of that ratio and that ratio fluctuates uh in line with markets uh, and how uh, the silver and gold market is performing so you know sometimes that can come down quite a bit so you know you wouldn't need anywhere near as much silver perhaps you'd only need two kilos or two and a half kilos to buy that same one ounce of gold and sometimes that can go a lot higher i will make a separate video on the subject of the gold silver silver gold ratio because a lot of people use that ratio to time their purchases and, and sales for that matter of gold and silver and even actually uh, professional uh, traders uh, commodity traders will use the gold silver ratio as a, as a tool to know when to buy or when to sell or when to concurrently buy and sell silver and gold on financial markets but that's not the purpose of today the purpose of today was just to get a feel of what it looks like to have the same value in silver compared to gold and i hope that was really useful and, and, and quite interesting to see how that actually looks in real terms if you like the video please do hit a like um drop a comment in the comment section let me know if i've missed anything should i perhaps have included vat perhaps i probably should it would give a fairer indication um, of the true cost of silver maybe um yeah, and let me know if you enjoy this sort of video and I can certainly post other videos like this. I could start to include other metals like platinum, rhodium, uh, palladium, for example. But I think, you know, these are the two main metals, precious metals that are used for investment purposes. So I wanted to focus on gold and silver specifically. Again, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until the next time, happy stacking.